So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to maximize the freighter stats to the highest stats in the game, and what is the minimum and is the maximum stats for each upgrade for the freighter. Before I show you the upgrades and how to maximize it, I want to talk about the freighter first. There is two kind of freighter, system freighter and the capital freighter. And the system freighter is very different than capital freighter. The system freighter, it's the easiest freighter to get, but a smaller size. The capital freighter, there is two type of them until now. Maybe the game will add new freighter in the future. Anyway, there is two kind. The Venator one, like this one right here, and the Sentinel one. Both of them are very unique and special, because they are bigger size, and the same time the storage for them can be up to 120 60 technology. So for this video, I'm gonna use this freighter. If you already have different freighter, that's okay. But if you want to get the same one as I am, I will put video right now on the screen for you, or down in description. So right now, we need to go to the freighter. And we need to go to the upgrade control. We need to click on upgrades. So right here, all the blueprint upgrade for the freighter. So we need to make sure we unlock every thing here, especially the hyperdrive one. The freighter right now it have only the normal upgrade, C class to S class upgrade. There is no illegal upgrade for the freighter yet, maybe in the future. There is 7 different upgrade you can get for the freighter. I'm gonna start with the first one. The first upgrade is fuel unit, it have only one stats. Fuel efficiency, minimum 16 and the maximum 20. The second upgrade, it's a speed unit and it have only one stats. Fleet speed, 15 for S class always. The compact unit is the same thing. It have one stats, fleet compact and it's always 15 for S class. Exploration unit, Fleet Exploration, 15 for S class as well. The Mining Unit Upgrade, it is the same thing also. Fleet Mining, 15 always for S class. The Trade Unit, the same thing again. Fleet Trade, 15 for S class as well. The last one is the Freighter Hyperdrive. It has two stats. Hyperdrive Range, 200 minimum to 250 maximum and the warp efficiency always 100. I want to say something about the hyperdrive. That's the stats from the game file for the hyperdrive. But I couldn't get 250 at all. I only got to 205. Anyway, that's all the 7 upgrade for the freighter. So right now we have our freighter here. We need to install the best upgrade to get the highest bonus stats possible. We need to install here 3 upgrade S class for speed unit. The S class upgrade for it is called Fleet Beacon. Let's install 3 of them. I already showed you in the last video how to get all the upgrade. Under them right here we need to install 3 upgrade S class fuel unit. I already got 3 upgrade right here. Under them here, in the 3 area, we need to install 3 upgrade S class for the trade unit. Let's install them. And under the 3 trade unit, we need to install 3 upgrade S class compact unit. Let me go down. And let me install 3 of them right here. They all have the same stats except the fuel unit. But I got maximum one here and the other not max. The rest of them is maximum. And under the 3 compact unit, we need to install 3 upgrade S class for exploration unit. I already got 3 right here, I just need to install them. And under the exploration unit, we need to install 3 upgrade for mining unit. And install 3 of them right here. Right now, we are almost done. We need to install in the first supercharged reality hyperdrive upgrade. 
let's install it right here and the super charged next to it we need to install warp core resonator we can just take care of it quick and the super charged above it we need to install warp injector and we need to move the freighter hyperdrive to here and under the reality hyperdrive we need to install amplifier warp shielding and we need to install right here chromatic warp shielding let's install it right now we have three area empty this area and this area and one in the super charged we need to put three hyperdrive upgrades inside them i already have three hyperdrive upgrade s class let's put them right away and we need to move the interstellar scanner to down here and right now we did maximize the entire freighter upgrade you can see the stats of the freighter it's actually pretty high i think the hyperdrive can be 6000 i really tried every way to take it to 6000 but i really couldn't cross 6000 now you have the best upgrade for the freighter look at the freighter here i really would like to thank no man sky resources for helping me on this one i hope in the future the game can add more stuff for the freighter so we can take our freighter to battle maximizing the freighter it can be pretty good if you like to jump to another galaxy i want to tell you something actually amazing friend on discord i will try to find the message seems likely to be able to get the capital freighter now you have to finish the artemis story i saw some comment about people couldn't get the capital freighter to trigger in the system i think that's the reason for it anyway guys after getting the freighter and after maximizing the freighter upgrades if you want to reach every galaxy in no man's sky fast make sure to watch this video it will show you how. I love you guys and see you guys next time.